I just want to preface this video by saying I do not encourage nor condone the use of cigarettes or weed or anything similar to that. And if you're under the age of 18, you can get out of my channel right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get the video started. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course, and enjoy. Thank you. So today I'm going to be smoking a hemp CBD cigarette, and I'm going to be rating my favorite lighters on a tier list. Now, I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just take one more drag, and then I'm going to go ahead and hop into the video. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Oh man, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the video and let's go ahead and hop into the tier list. So the tier list today is pretty, pretty simple. I have a couple simple lighters. I have clippers, I have Bix, I have DG, I have some uh, more complex lighters, and of course I have Zippos. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just start it off with a very, very simple one. Let's go ahead and just start it off with uh, clipper lighters. Now clipper lighters are an absolutely, absolutely fantastic lighter and I really, really do like them. The clippers are absolutely fantastic. They're great for smoking weed. They're great for smoking cigarettes. But the problem with I have with them is that their their flints always break. Their flints always break. You know what I'm saying? So, I've every every Zippo I've had, or sorry, every clipper I've had has always had this the flint break. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and put those in an A tier. They're a fantastic cigarette, but the but the the, the flints break. So it's just not very good kind of thing to have that break on a on a on a lighter that's supposed to be working for a while. Um, but the next one I've got, I think the next one I'm going to do is Bic Lighters. Now, Bic Lighters are my personal favorite. That's what I use to light my cigarette. Of course, I absolutely love Bic Lighters. Bic Lighters are absolutely fantastic. They're one of my favorite, favorite cigarette brands, you know what I'm saying? And they're just going to have to go into a solid A. They're cheap as hell. They last a long time. They're just a fantastic lighter overall, you know what I'm saying? I can't say enough about how much I love Bic Lighters. But the next one I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing car lighters next. Now, car lighters are one of the things that you don't really see a lot of people using kind of thing. But when you do use them, they're pretty interesting to use. I've only used them a couple times just simply because I don't usually smoke in cars. Um, but they are pretty good, uh, and I do highly recommend using them. And the taste off of them is a little bit metally, but it's not too bad kind of thing. So these are going to have to go in a solid A tier as well, just because they're cheap. You can get them anywhere, and you can light them anywhere. You don't have to worry about wind, and you can just light them as you drive and not have to worry about a flame or anything like that. The downside of them, though, is that you can't really light anything other than cigarettes with them. You can light joints if they're fo folded right, I guess. But you can't really do much with them. You can only really light cigarettes with them. That's the problem with them kind of thing. Now, the next one I have is a personal favorite of mine. Just kidding. They're horrible. Uh, crack lighters. The ones right here that I'm zooming around the screen. These crack lighters, I mean, like, they're good. Crack lighters aren't bad. Don't get me wrong. But the problem with crack lighters is simply that they're horrible. Crack lighters are horrible. The build quality is bad. They're just a, they're just a crap lighter overall. They're just shit. They're not a good lighter, and I don't recommend you ever use them. Um, and for that reason, these are going to have to go into a solid D tier. They're great because they're so cheap, but they're horrible because the build quality, they break. They, they if, you, if you throw them at the wall, they'll explode. It's one of those things where it's just kind of scary, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get another hit, though. I'm going to have to ash that real quick. Ooh, ooh. That was good. i got to be completely honest. But yeah. The next lighter I want to put on there uh, is a uh, just a, a fancy lighter. Basically, anything that is uh, that's a lighter, but it doesn't look like a lighter. Like let's say this is a deck of cards. It looks like a lighter, but it's not actually a lighter. Um, so this, just for that, right off the bat. I mean, like it's cool, but the people who use them aren't really typically smokers. So just for that reason, and they're not very practical. They don't hold a lot of fuel. For that reason, they're just gonna have to go into D tier. But there's really no issue with these lighters. There's really no issue. Um, and usually they are butane flames, but the next lighter is a good one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the next lighter is, oh man, what should I pick? What should I pick? It's a good one. I got I had to say it was a good one. The candle lighter. Now the candle lighter is one of those lighters that you use only really when you have nothing else. Uh, if you have nothing else to smoke, you use a candle lighter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and candle lighters, they're not terrible. It's basically just a big lighter with an extend with an extended thing on it. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not really the greatest option in the world. And for that reason, these are going to have to go into D tier. They're kind of a pain to light everything with, but it's good when you don't have anything else kind of thing. Now, hemp wicks. Now, hemp wicks are one of those things where the taste is immaculate. The taste is fantastic, but it's kind of a pain just to have it on your lighter kind of thing. You just carry it around with you. You have to have the hemp wick. You have to kind of like make sure it doesn't ash all in your pants. It's kind of a pain to have. 
Uh, for that reason, it's going to have to go into C tier because hemp lighters, as said, the taste is fantastic, but it's just a pain kind of thing. It's one of those things where I don't want to think about it. I want to light my stuff. I don't want to have to think about lighting it kind of thing. A lighter's a lighter to me. I like lighters, don't get me wrong, but a lighter's a lighter. I want it to light. Um, this, there's so much more than just lighting kind of thing. Uh, and for that reason, it's going in C tier. Man, this Siggy's good though, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling very chill, very relaxed right now, you know what I'm saying? But the next lighter I have, and the next lighter I'm going to be going on is just basically any torch that isn't like a pro, that isn't like a, a butane torch that you use for rigs kind of thing. Just basically any torch that you can just get at any at any stop shop kind of thing. And these lighters typically don't last a very long time. They're pretty cheap, but they work for what you needed to do kind of thing. For that reason, because they're cheap, because they're not very nice typically, these are going to have to go in D tier. They're just not the greatest lighters in the world, but they're not terrible either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it's a it's a it's a two dollar butane lighter from the from the dollar store. What do you expect? Kind of thing. The next lighter is one of these. It's the one where you can poke it on there and it electrically lights. It. So basically, it's a new age car lighter. These lighters are not very good. Uh, unlike the car lighter, they're not free. They don't really come with your car very much, and you can't really get them for very cheap. Uh, I got one for free. I was lucky enough to get one from free for for us from a smoke shop. Um, but the problem is. It's just not very good. The only thing you can light with it is cigarettes. And for that reason, this is going to have to stay in F tier. Um, just not good enough kind of thing. Uh, the next one, though, I have is any sort of, like, torch lighter. These lighters are absolutely fantastic, and I absolutely love torch lighters. But you're never going to light a cigarette with this. The only thing you're lighting with one of these is a bong. Or not a bong. A, a dab thing. What? Dab rig. That's, that's, that's the name. Yeah, a dab rig. Um... These are going in solid S tier, solid S tier for these, just because they're absolutely fantastic. You can refill them. They're never going to break. I love them kind of thing. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, the next lighter I have on the list, though, is a touch and flame lighter. Um, so these are typically like tabletop lighters. This is the lighter I've, I'm moving my mouse around right now. Uh, these are typically like tabletop lighters that you have kind of thing next to your ashtray. They're pretty simple, but you don't really see them a lot anymore. Usually, they're very vintage and they're very expensive. And because they're expensive they're going to have to go into a lower tier just because expensive isn't good. Um, but they're still very fancy, very cool, light stuff very well. And for that reason, they're going into C tier, you know what I'm saying? These are a solid C tier, as said, just because of the cost and the convenience is amazing. You just have them on your table and they just work kind of thing. Um, the next lighter I'm going to be going over, though, is a Zippo lighter. Zippos are absolutely fantastic, but I do have one or two issues with them. Um, Zippos, they run out of fuel too fast, at least with the original inserts, but I'll be getting to the ex uh, secondary accessories in a minute. Um, at least with the original inserts, they don't work very well. They're kind of a pain kind of thing. They're just not very good, um, in my opinion. You have to refill them every three days, and that's just too much. I don't want to have to think about my lighter. Ooh, that burned. Man. But you don't, I don't really want to think about it but they do work absolutely fantastic when they are full. Um, but just for that reason where you have to fill it up every three days, it's kind of a pain. Those are going in a solid B tier. Now, because of that, because of Zippo has now started making butane lighters, Zippo started making butane lighters now, these are going to go into A tier because these are absolutely fantastic. I don't have a Zippo lighter, a Zippo butane lighter myself, but I do have one of the off-brand ones, one of the Thunderbird inserts. And the Thunderbird insert is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the Thunderbird insert. It's a fantastic, fantastic insert. And I assume the Zippo is exactly the same, if not better. And I have heard nothing but raving reviews about it kind of thing. And for that reason, it's going to have to go into S tier. It's windproof. It's cheap. It's only like 12 bucks. Um, it'll fit in a Zippo, so it looks fancy as hell. It's a solid S tier kind of thing, but not for the other reasons that the other two are in there. It's just a better lighter overall kind of thing. The next lighter we have, though, is D-Jeep. I've never used a D-Jeep lighter. I've never popped, purchased one. I've never seen one in a shop near me. From what I've heard, they're mostly European lighters, and I've never had one. But I have seen somebody use one, and it seems pretty nice, and they seem to light pretty well. And honestly, it just seems to be about on the same tier as, like, let's say, a clipper or something like that. So that's exactly where it's going to go. It's going to go in A tier with clippers just because it's a cheap lighter. It's very simple. Um, but, I mean, like, there's really nothing much to sh say about it. You know what I'm saying? Then I've got two more or one more left, actually. And this one is an arc electric lighter. Now, this lighter is going to have to go into E tier. 
right off the bat. You can't really light much with it. It's not really a good lighter kind of thing, but it's one of those lighters that people who don't smoke carry around. Hey, look, I have an arc lighter kind of thing. It's, it's just not a very good lighter kind of thing to actually light stuff with. Let me put it that way. It might be a, a cool lighter to like flick around and show your friends, but it doesn't really light stuff very well. But if there are any arc lighters that are like actually good for lighting stuff, let me know because I've never seen one. Um, but yeah, that's the tier list just like that. Bix are in S tier. S tier is one of those things where it's the top of the, it's the top of the, it's the top of the food chain kind of thing. Um, Bix are fantastic. I mean, like everybody knows Bix. They're cheap as hell. Everybody loves Bix. Um, creme brulee lighters, of course, for your, for your dab rigs. Fantastic. Can't complain about it. Can't say much about it. Butane flames. Absolutely fantastic. Love them. Clipper lighters, just a few issues, but that's okay. Just the flint getting stuck. Just the flint not being very good. Um, but car lighters, absolutely fantastic. Super cheap. Not the greatest, but it is a classic kind of thing. Zippos, an absolute classic. Been around since the second world war. Absolutely love them. Um, but you have to refill them too much. DG lighters, basic lighter, but I've never used it before. So for that reason, I'm just going to have to put it in A tier kind of thing. I've heard it's very good, but I've never used it before kind of thing. Now, the next one is just the basic like, hey, look at me, I have a lighter kind of thing. But these are actually lighters. Um, it's like the cards. It's like the, hey, look, I have like a, a fire hose that is a lighter, whatever. I don't know. Um, those lighters. That's what this is right here. Um, and this is one of those lighters where, I mean, like, it's not super practical, but it is pretty cool. And you can actually use it as a lighter. So solid C tier, I would say. Hemp wicks, it's just simply because you have to have a lighter and a hemp wick. Um, it's just kind of a pain. It's not really cool. Um, and you kind of have to worry about the hemp wick. I just don't like it personally, but maybe that's just me. Uh, the next lighter, though, is a touch and tap lighter or a touch and flame lighter, whatever you want to call them kind of thing. Basically a uh, tabletop lighter. Absolutely fantastic. Super, super expensive, though. You can't really find them for very cheap anymore. But definitely one of those lighters where I definitely want to get one kind of thing. I have used them before. They're very cool. Um, the next lighter, though, crack lighters. Not very good, but super cheap. You can get like two for a buck. Very cool lighter for the price. And you can get the massive, massive flames. I love the massive flames. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the next lighter is just a candle lighter. It's meant for candles, but you can light anything with it kind of thing. But it's one of those can things where you only use it in a backup scenario. But it's not really a bad lighter. You just don't want to use it kind of thing. Um, but for that reason, it's just a solid D tier. And then the next one is just any basic, like cheap butane torch lighter that you would get at like the dollar store kind of thing. It's the same, uh, thing basically as just the crack lighter. Um, but it, it's just a different kind of thing. Um, and for that reason, it's D tier. Um, but the next lighter is an arc lighter. Arc lighters, as said, I just talked about this. They're not very cool simply because the people who use them, are not typically smokers. No issue if you do actually use them if you're a smoker, but they're just not for me, and I don't really see see how you can light stuff very well with them. I've tried before. It doesn't work very well, um, but for that reason, I don't really like arc lighters, but yeah. The only F tier, though, the only F tier that we have on this entire list are these lighters. I'm going to put this over here. Uh, it's this lighter. It's one of the ones where you have to poke it in there. It's basically the same concept as the car lighter, but it's expensive. Who wants that? Hell no. I'd much rather just have a normal lighter. But yeah, that's the tier list, and uh, that's the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tier list video. You know what I'm saying? I really enjoy making these videos. So if you enjoyed it as well, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Until the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one, y'all. Stay safe out there.